the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 129, Ecclesiastes 8 to 12, Learning about meaningless. Wise preacher Solomon stressed that remembering that everything in this world is worthless and fearing God our Creator is our duty. First point, humans cannot escape their death or prolong their life no matter how hard they try. Solomon, who experienced more wealth or glory than any other human, thought that no human has the ability to prolong their life or to change the day they die. That is why humans should also accept that we are creations of God and that we are limited in what we can do. We should always be humble. The way we can live wisely in this earth is to be humble in front of God and to always try our best to obey Him. Solomon claimed that humans have three vital limitations. The first is that humans do not know the day of their death. The second is that humans do not know whether they can survive war. The third is that no human can escape God's judgment. The second point, a wicked person will eventually perish and they will become like a shadow. Regarding the wicked, David said that their days will become like shadows. Adding to this, Solomon said, Yet because the wicked do not fear God, it will not go well with them, and their days will not lengthen like a shadow. It may seem that the world is full of people who are anything but righteous. It sometimes seems that the wicked prosper more than the kind people. This sometimes raises the question of whether God truly exists. However, just because the wicked are not punished immediately does not mean that their sins go unpunished. The wicked will most certainly receive their punishment, and knowing this is wisdom. All the wicked of the earth you discard like draws, therefore I love your statute. Third point. The wine bearer was able to remember Joseph because God helped him remember. The wise Solomon claimed that human accomplishment was not entirely down to their efforts. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does the food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or a favor to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. If humans succeed just based on their efforts, then humans would not need God. The people of God in the Bible all tried extremely hard and also asked for God's help. For example, it was God who helped the wine bearer remember Joseph after two years in prison. This was not due to Joseph's efforts, but because God blessed him. Oppositely, David tried his best to defeat the Philistines and to help the Kayla. But the people of Kayla reported David to Saul rather than thanking him. Seen from the perspective of effort, then this was a huge blow for David. But due to this instant, David was able to strengthen his faith in God. Solomon said that instead of relying on human effort, we should believe and obey God. Fourth point, one should dream in their teens and learn that everything is meaningless in their twenties. 
Solomon revealed the reason as to why he wrote Ecclesiastes at an old age. This was because he wanted to emphasize the days of youth and how it was important to know that all is meaningless from the days of youth. The days of youth and the days after youth are meaningless unless you remember God the Creator. As a farmer, cannot plan wind or rain or the time to cultivate. Humans cannot plan life without God. Solomon wrote that in the days of youth, humans should learn to be kind and generous to their neighbors. Solomon also emphasized the importance of relying on God. He further wrote about the importance of being hardworking and sincere in the days of youth, and also to live a joyful life during youth. As such, we should learn to dream during teens, and learn that everything is meaningless during our twenties. This can help people to not live a meaningless life. Fifth point, God judges all behaviors of humans. Solomon, who started his book by saying that all things are meaningless, now comes to his conclusion. His conclusion is that all things are meaningless if one does not believe in and obey God. This is because God judges all right and evil. Solomon stressed the importance of remembering God. We have finite days on this earth, and so we should try our best to live wisely. Solomon wrote that the true wisdom was to figure this out from youth. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.